also a live stream that Megan did earlier this week was one where she hopped up and she jumped up and down and got all upset because apparently people were creating rumours about her. In particular, rumours about her putting strikes on channels. So, before we listen to any of the audio, I'll just go through the actual facts for people um, and then we'll discuss what she was saying and follow up from there. So the facts are this. Megan Cole, over a two-day period, put three separate strikes on Mrs G, which took down her channel. She also put two strikes against Shan and then Megan's friend, who has a channel with about 80 subscribers, did strikes against Mrs G, Shan and myself. Now, my strike has been lifted. I believe Shan's strikes have been lifted. I'm not sure what action Mrs G is taking right now, but I guess that's her story to tell. So all up we're talking about five strikes by Megan and at least three strikes by her friend. I don't know if there were other strikes. Um, there was another content creator who mentioned that she had received a strike about a month or so back that she hadn't actually spotted and that she couldn't argue it because it was past the arguing period and that that strike was in relation to content about Megan. So that creator didn't say that Megan had striked her. She was saying that she got a strike in relation to content about Megan because someone misconstrued what she was saying and thought that she was making negative comments about Kylie. That's my understanding from what she said. So we've got a sum total of eight, possibly nine strikes. We'll ignore the ninth because that doesn't fit into that two-day period. So a sum total of eight strikes by two different channels. But we know that the second channel that made the strikes had connections with Megan Cole. And she basically admits that it was a team effort. But we'll come back to that. So five strikes all up from Megan Cole three from her friend. Now I've discussed these, I've been open about the fact that I had a strike and I mentioned it on one of my videos and I'll come back to that also and I mentioned when I me well, when I mentioned it on the video I said that it was from Megan's friend not from Megan. So if there's any confusion there it hasn't come from me claiming that Megan gave a strike nor has it come from Shan claiming that Megan gave me a strike because Shan knows full well that it wasn't Megan that gave me a strike, that it was the same person that gave her the strike. Hopefully I'm not getting too confusing here. Now, Megan's making claims in her video which basically are accusing people of creating rumours and creating lies. Let's listen to what she had to say. So I hear there's some rumours going around the YouTube streets. The rumours going around right now that just simply aren't true. So I'm going to clarify some, but you guys have to talk first. Straight up the bat, I'll just point out that she was trying very hard to bait people to either comment in her chat section or to go up and on panel and argue with her over these rumours. This is one of her favourite tactics, I think, when she gets bored. She tries to throw stuff at people 
and then she challenges them to come up and talk to her about it. But we've seen how it goes in the past when people have tried to be nice and they've tried to go up on panel and talk to her, all that's happened is that they have basically been verbally abused by her as well as her friends in chat and if things go really badly then either her friend Kursuma or her friend Crazy Mama also hop up and begin verbally abusing the person who has in good faith gone up in on panel to have a discussion with Megan. So her trying to bait people to come up and talk to her, you'd think she'd figure out by now that people aren't going to fall for that anymore. These rumors that I'm doing these things that simply aren't true, but yet you want to say, you know, on all these other channels that I'm doing things which aren't, aren't true at all. Because I'm going to clarify it and I'm going to show you all that you're lying. So I get kind of annoyed when people make vague accusations. So they're saying on all these other channels that I'm doing things that I'm not doing. Basically saying people are liars. Now, if you want to have credibility when you're making these accusations, you're better off coming out and showing people the evidence for these accusations, such as audio of someone saying the specific thing that you're claiming is being said. The reason I'm saying this in relation to Megan Cole is that we've heard so many times where she makes vague accusations about people but never follows through with any sort of proof of these accusations. And yet her followers in her chat take it as gospel. So she says, I'm going to show you all that you're lying. My expectation from this would be for her to show a clip showing whoever it is that is making the lies, the starters, to show what they are saying and then show the evidence to show that what they are saying is a lie. So to simply say I'm going to show you guys are lying isn't enough. Show us who is lying and how they are lying. Show us the evidence. So if you want to come out and say something now, then I would say something. But if you want to get called out and prove that you're a liar, I think you should say something now as well. So, more baiting. If you listened to this live, you would have heard her throughout the entire live constantly baiting, trying to get someone to come up on panel so she could argue with them. Like I said, people aren't that silly. They've seen the way she tears people apart, the way she's rude to people when they go up on panel, the way she verbally attacks them. People aren't going to jump up, especially not with vague threats of, well, if you don't come up, I'm going to prove you're a liar, but you should come up anyway so I can prove you're a liar, which is essentially what she was just saying there. Because you're lying. All of you are. Because let me just start out by saying, I didn't strike nine channels. Nope, 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 nope. Never did. Okay? So, that's for one. Would you like me to keep going? Because I can prove that. Thanks, Megan. But we really don't need you to prove it to us. Because the people in involved have been up front and said how many strikes they got from you. So, this rumour that you struck nine channels... I don't know where that has come from. I suspect that it has come from perhaps one of your subscribers who has either not listened to other channels or has partially listened to other channels 
and got themselves confused and not listened to what was actually said and then run back to you with this ridiculous rumour that you that people are saying that you struck nine channels. By all means, if someone has said that you struck nine channels, um, please clarify that for us. If you could perhaps play some audio or some video showing us where someone says that you have struck nine channels, that would be convenient and then we can go and we can clarify with that individual ourselves and make sure that they understand what actually happened. But at the same, same time, let's be real here. People have seen where you've been on a live stream and someone has come, gone into your chat and gone, oh, I have to sell, tell you something. And it's been a big drama about them having to tell you something that they've just discovered about something that somebody said. So we know that you have this core group of followers who seem to thrive on creating drama and looking for things that they can run back to you with that can get you all upset, riled up and start the drama wagon going again. Although it's probably worth noting at this point also that when you listen to the various live streams that Megan Cole does, there are two different sorts. There are the ones where she, she's rolled up and she's got some drama that she can carry on about. Those ones get plenty of views and they get lots of chat happening. Then there's the other ones where she hasn't really got any drama going on. So about 90% of those live streams is silence. There's a little bit of an attempt at chit chat with her chat. But other than that, there's very little happening in those lives that make them worth listening to. And of course, those lives are the ones where the views really drop off. And I know she hasn't got the greatest IQ, but you can't tell me that this woman doesn't realise that she needs to create drama to keep her channel interesting. I have no problem proving that. This one is for the Shan one, Squirrels on Fire, and that one is the one that we've done paperwork on. This one right here was resolved. She removed the remo the video was removed. This one right here was uh, Miss G resolved. Remove video, remove video, and remove video. Just some clarification there, because you may or may not be aware by now that Megan actually had someone else do the strikes for her, logged into her channel, according to many statements that she's made but she doesn't quite understand how the process works. So she's saying that Shan and Mrs. G removed their videos after they were struck. That's not how the process works. And um, perhaps had she been involved in the process, she might have understood it a little better. What happens is that when a person makes a strike against someone's video, the video is removed by YouTube, not by the person who put the video up in the first place. So no, neither Shan nor Mrs. G removed their own videos. So if you guys think that I've counter, I've struck nine times, I have not. So if anybody that is saying that I have, you are simply lying. Okay. It's right there. Proved it, done and over with. Shan, I did not strike you more than twice. And that was it. Okay. So there's two. And then Miss G, I struck three times. There's the three. So that's a five. That's a total of five, two channels. That's it. So by saying I struck nine channels is a lie. Okay. There's for one. That's the first lie. So did you notice she said, if anyone is saying that I struck nine channels? So I'm wondering if perhaps what's happened here 
is that she doesn't know the origins of that particular rumour and that someone has gone to her trying to create drama and reported back to her and said, well, someone has said that you struck nine channels. Offhand, I can't even think of nine active Kylie channels that would have content that Megan could possibly strike. And I think if Megan were trying to think about this logically, but that is possibly a little bit too difficult for her, and I don't mean that in a mean way, but I believe that Megan takes everything on surface value and doesn't necessarily know how to analyse when people go running to her with rumours she simply jumps in because Megan I'm just going to point this out to you now if you'd stopped and taken a breath you would have realized that whoever went to you with a rumor saying that someone was claiming that you had struck nine channels was telling you just that a rumor because none of the credible content creators that know, I know of who are covering Kylie are going to suggest that you struck nine channels because they would know logically that that would be impossible for you to do. Just as a bit of an aside here, does anyone find it somewhat amusing that she's basically saying, I only did five strikes, like that is something so minimal that someone might do every day of the week. The fact of the matter is that she did five strikes within a roughly 24 hour period. Not over one day, over two separate days, but pretty much over a 24 hour period. That's still significant. No, it's not striking nine channels. And like I said, I'd like to hear the audio of someone actually claiming that other than Megan Cole because I suspect that someone has gone back to her trying to get her stirred up and trying to create drama or that someone has misunderstood something that has been said and likewise gone back to her and tried to create drama. But who's going to say that anybody struck nine channels in one time. I think it's a total impossibility. If it's ever been done, someone tell me, let me know. And Miss G, yeah, I took your channel down. I did. If y'all want to keep lying, keep on lying. But it's not true. So maybe you need to check yourself and who's telling you this because I have not struck Ninja Chihuahua, not once, not at all, okay? As in for anybody else, I don't watch. I don't care. The only person I cared about was Miss G. Okay, now that's interesting because what I just said a minute ago about wondering whether or not Megan understood the need to check her facts and find proof of what she's being told, she's now turned around and said to other channels, you need to go check your facts because you are lying. Here's the first mention of her or of talk of her striking my channel, which we know did not happen. I know I never accused her of striking my channel and I shan never accused her of striking my channel. I don't know if someone else got confused, but this is another thing where I'd be interested to see or to hear some audio from this to find out who needs to have some clarification. I don't need someone telling me that I've done something that I haven't done when there's people out there lying. Ninja, I have not, don't even try to say that I've struck you because I never did. Nope, have not. Okay. After this section, I'll play you audio from my own video when I discussed the strikes so you can see what it was that I actually said in relation to the strike on my channel. So Megan turning around and 
accusing me of claiming that she made a strike against me. I don't know if that's come from someone trying to cause drama again because we know that at the moment I'm the favourite chew toy or if it is her trying to create drama. Perhaps she thinks that since I've never gone up on panel on her channel, maybe she thought that she could goad me into going and going up on panel. But I'm not that dumb. So I just want to know why all these rumors keep coming up. Liar, 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 pants on fire, right? You lose your channel and you guys are all butt hurt. Now that's a fair question though. Why do all these rumors keep coming up? Okay, she's saying they're rumours, which means, or to me, that says that people are going to her repeating these stories, but without solid proof. So, I think she's treading a very dangerous path there, making allegations that people are lying based on rumours. So, yeah, I would like to know the source of the rumours as well. Is it genuine? Has someone made a mistake and made a comment on their channel where they were a little bit confused? Perhaps um, if someone has, maybe they need to make a clarification for their listeners. Um, or is it a situation where people are once again trying to get Megan stirred up and taking her all this misinformation to see how she would react. So I am going to delve a little bit deeper into all this now during this video. And where else to start but at the beginning. So I've taken some excerpts from this video. Um, feel free to go and watch the full video with a more of an explanation because I don't want to go too deep into it. I think you're getting the gist. I hope you're getting the gist. So the backstory. There's this dude who calls himself TF who's got a little channel. So the other night he did a live stream and apparently Megan was in that live stream. And so in that live stream he showed her how to draw. Dumbo. I made a video and dropped it earlier today which was based on that live stream. So today apparently this TF guy made a strike on Shan's live stream and then within about 20 minutes of me dropping my Dumbo video which is this is a retake of he made a strike on that simply because there was an image in there that was his copied attempt at a Dumbo. So that full video is available if you want to go and watch it and listen to it. And I'll try and remember to put the link in the description. But you heard quite clearly there, I didn't say at any point in time that Megan had made a strike against my channel. I mentioned that this other person who was a friend of Megan's was the one that made the strike against my channel. So thanks for calling me a liar, Megan, but there's what was actually said. So what you were saying about us needing to check our facts before we say things, yep, that's kind of a good idea for people to check their facts before they say things. So anyway, Megan was concerned because she wanted to know the origins of these rumours. Fair enough. When there are rumours going around that involve you, it's always good to know the origins of the rumours. It would be far better for these people that are going with her to the rumours, with the rumours, to actually provide her with links to the 
places where these things have been said rather than just running to her and her blindly believing what she's being told because it's going to backfire. If you go online and call people liars without having any evidence, it's not a good idea. It's going to backfire. So I was wondering where these rumours started, especially the one where she's claiming that I was saying that she struck me because I hadn't heard any other creators saying that. I had made it quite clear when discussing it with other creators where the strike came from. And I never at any point in time inferred that it came from Megan. So, like I said, I was wondering where this came from. And then I was listening to another live stream that I hadn't listened to, that I'd missed, that was that had occurred prior to this live stream where she was getting upset about people creating rumours about her striking nine channels while her claiming that I was saying that she had struck me. And I came across this really interesting bit of audio that I wanted to share with you guys. Who's Buddy Dumbo causing trouble again? Yes, he's, he's my Dumbo drawing literally broke Shannon and Chihuahua. Like they like they they're mad for whatever reason. And you yeah. know the whole and you know I I copyright strike them. They've now counter striked me, and I'm just either gonna let it sit Michael. out and wait. Michael. Yep. Oh wait, hang on there. What was it you just said there, Megan? I think we need to listen again. Who's Buddy Dumbo causing trouble again? Yes, he's, he's, my Dumbo drawing literally broke Shannon and Chihuahua. Like they, like they, they're mad for whatever reason. And you know the whole, and you know I, I copyright strike them. They've now counter striked me, and I'm just either gonna let it sit Michael. out and wait. Michael. Yep. You know I, I copyright strike them. They've now counter striked me, and I'm just either gonna let it sit Michael. out and wait. Yep. So it turns out that the rumor of me being copyright struck by Megan Cole originated with Megan Cole herself. I don't know if this was, she got a bit caught up in the whole feeling kind of important because she'd just done a bunch of copyright strikes and because her um, people in chat were like cheering her on and making it sound like she was a hero but what she's done here is she has quite clearly claimed credit for copyright strikes that she didn't even do herself perhaps what she was inferring was that she got her friend to make those copyright strikes from his channel for her but Either way, where did the rumour begin, Megan, that I was claiming that you struck my channel? Okay, well, we've just listened to the audio, so we know exactly where it began. So there's a good lesson in this for everyone. Before you start jumping up and down and making accusations, check your facts. So, Megan, by all means, if you've got audio to show where people are claiming that you struck nine channels, please play it so we know where that comes from and we can go and clarify that with whoever's gotten themselves a little bit confused. But next time you want to sling accusations at other creators and say that they're lying, you should probably go back and listen to your own live streams first 
to make sure that the rumours that you are talking about didn't actually come directly from your channel in the first place. Who's Buddy Dumbo causing trouble again? Yes, he's, he's my Dumbo drawing literally broke Shannon and his Wawa. Like they like they they're mad for whatever reason. And you know the whole, and you know I I copyright strike them. They've now counter me, and I'm just either gonna let it sit Michael. out and wait. Yeah, 